please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Chucky. And I'm Jason. And welcome to the Hill Morning News. <laughs> I'm Cole and I'm here with Mr. Ganswright. Mr. Ganswright, how long have you been teaching CTE? I've been teaching CTE here for the last eight years. Eight years, and what CTE course is that? I've been teaching uh, multiple CTE courses. Primarily, I've been teaching uh, Intro to Gaming and the Gaming and Simulations, which is an advanced course, and then AP Computer Science Principles, and then AP Computer Science A, which is the Computer Science Pathway. Okay, and can you elaborate on some of those classes? Sure. Uh, in the AP Computer Science pathway, uh, we the first class, AP Computer Science Principles, we just uh, introduce students to the concepts of computing, and then we get into programming uh, in AP Computer Science A for the second class, and then in the gaming uh, program pathway, we introduce students to the concept of gaming and uh, the game development process, and then we uh, put them on a game engine <clears throat> and have them program games, and then eventually uh, the capstone project for them after two years is that they make their own two-level game. Okay, and what are some colleges that you recommend? Uh, most of the colleges have a computer science uh, background, so um, Stanford has a really strong uh, program um, locally. Cal Poly Pomona has a pretty strong program. I've had a lot of students go to UCR. Uh, I've had a couple of students go outside the state. I've had a student go to Duke University and she's actually working for Google now. And I actually have a couple different students working for Google now. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Good morning, Alex. I'm Nick and today we're going to be interviewing kids on their fits today. Hi, I'm Nick and I'm here with Sophia, Zoe. All right, Sophia, run me to the fit. Okay, this is a Skims bodysuit, and these are Levi's, and then these are Converse platform. Wow, Zoe wanted me to the fit. <laughs> I got Air Force ones on um, from Air Nike. Force. <laughs> I got uh, Air Pasta shorts, my Nike Pros from Nike, and then my Hollister tank top. How much that fit cost? I would say about 300 A total or like? Total with the chain, 400 Dang, big baller. Big All right, baller. thank you guys. Good morning, Hawks. I'm Ro Castro, and I'm here with... Alfonso. Alfonso, let me know how much your fit costs piece by piece. The boots, they probably like 100. The pants, they're like 40. The shirt, I got it like last year, so probably like 50. How, mu how much the, the, the necklace? How much the necklace? Probably like 1,000, because I got it a long time ago. 1,000? How much your fit cost? My fit? Uh, I got, what's it called? Uh, Air Max 97s, so this is like a good 170. 501s, like 60 bucks. Nike sweater is like $70. And then I got a Pro Club hoodie, Pro Club shirt. It's like $8. So I think it's like a good, like 350. A good 350. Way better than yours, way better than yours. Hey Hawks, for today's game review, we will be looking at a video game called Fallout New Vegas. This game was made in 2010 and it is set 200 years after a nuclear war happened in the United States. And the people who survived must now live through the nuclear wasteland as giant radiated creatures roam the lands. The beasts aren't the only thing that the people must worry about as many have divided themselves into different factions. Ones that aren't always on the same side as each other or very friendly towards new faces. That is where you, the player, must come in collecting countless weapons and upgrading yourself. You must Brave these harsh, horror-filled lands one bullet at a time. Thank you, Hawks. That's all for today, Hawks. Once again, I'm Chucky. I'm Jason. And I hope you Hawks have an amazing day. Ooh. <laughs>